Welcome to Once Upon a Crime, stories from the underbelly of far away land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip, and the weather. I'm Victor. And I'm joining our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? I mean, the famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested. How? Accused by, th- accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing <laughs> on their houses until they fall down. A lawyer for Mr. Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media. Here's our reporter Caroline with more. I'm here in far, far away jail with the big bad wolf. Mr. Wolf, you have been charged with the descriptions of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? Good. You have been caught imprimising both a grandmother and a sheep. Who's the big bad wolf? Really? Me. What do you have to say to the good people of far, far away land who think you are nothing more than a dangerous criminal. Bad. Well, thanks for those thoughts, Mr Wolf. Good luck with the trailer. Back to the studio. The news of Escape Connect, Heroes, Hansel and Griddle, their story captured the heart of the nation. It caught a media frenzy. What? Last year, they have spoken out for the first time about their ordeal and their new book. Blackbirds, a hour pre-cops. Imagine the Hansel and Griddle story. Our re- reporter Vader was at the book's release in the deep dark forest. The scene of the, oh, of the <coughs> terrible tale. You're obviously very rich now having found all that money in the old witch's house. How do you plan on spending all of it? On a gym. And you? On a Range Rover and a mansion. Okay. Hansel, you're back in great shape after being fatted up for eating. How did you do it? Working out all day, every day. Okay. What have you learned through this experience? Don't trust people. Don't trust people you don't know. Okay, this is all for today and back to the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper, imagine, in the, in the woods that all is not well. With the marriage of the celebrity couple, or couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album of, du- of duets sources are saying that happily ever after might not last That's much true. longer we we go now to our reporter ali rose oh Bro, you got a thanks victor and hello everyone i am ali rose here in this beautiful mansion of beauty and the beast and hello and smooches to you both now yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell against the odds how's it all going with you two Really bad. And you? Bad. So you're something of a beauty and you're a total beast. What is the reality of living with someone who is completely different from you? Bad because she leaves her books everywhere. And you? Well, most of the times he always, he always stinks. Your recent duet album did not sell well and your fashion label has gone bust. What's next for you? Your, you two lovebirds. Sign the divorce papers! Thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> oh! Thanks, Ali Rose. Now it's time for our far away land. With an update with Lyrically, who will have the fairest weather of them all this week? Well, it'll be a mix of fair and full for the faraway kingdom this week. In north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbow for everyone. The sun will shine and birds will sing from your shoulders until 
Tuesday. The deep dark for us will be deep and dark all week, with occasional sunny spells and witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green field will be <coughs> turned snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straws, gin or gingerbread, because it will be f f freezing. There are trolls living under the bridges in the west might want to find a uh, beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, happy ending to the working week for both of us. Back to the news desk. <laughs> Hello, obviously my name is Victor. Bruh. Thanks, Luke Lee. That's awful tonight. Although we've had oh we've just had we've just had a word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail. Since our interview he is hungry, angry, and on the prowl. Rah. Keep your doors locked safe from the whole team. At once upon a crime. Good, Good night. night. Come on guys! <laughs>